Drama and Death on Vong Son Plain, South Vietnam, where a squad of U.S. 8th Cavalry is ambushed by an entire regiment of Viet Cong guerrillas. The eight-man unit was on its way to help fellow GIs under enemy fire. BC machine guns and snipers zero in, killing one and wounding two. Unknowingly, they had stumbled on the enemy's escape route. Helicopter gunships rush in to support the trapped, outnumbered ground troops, searching out guerrilla positions and firing rockets into them. A dramatic rescue of one of the wounded. As the rest of the squad lays down heavy cover fire, one GI daringly goes to the aid of a stricken buddy. Frequent rocket strikes by the helicopters provide added cover as the firefight rages on. Artillery is called down around their position so they won't be overrun, and the squad digs in. From this narrow trench, they fought off snipers, fed the wounded, and tried to patch them up since they had no medic. One man said, we couldn't move, we couldn't smoke, we couldn't make any kind of noise. We were hiding like fugitives. Rescue helicopters arrive after the Viet Cong guerrillas melt away into the jungle. The evacuation of the wounded is swift and efficient, supervised by 8th Cavalry Lieutenant Colonel Artie McClure. Said the squad sergeant to his rescuers, you're like a cold beer on a hot summer's day. at home, but unmindful of clock or calendar, the Vietnam struggle goes on. A Viet Cong ambush of a U.S. Marine Rough Rider truck convoy kills one American leatherneck, wounding four others. Many vehicles were damaged, two destroyed. Elsewhere, South Vietnamese and American troops keep supply lines open while attacking a huge Viet Cong installation. The enemy camp was first pounded by heavy fire from ships and landing boats, providing cover for the assault wave foot soldiers. When the smoke clears, the inevitable roundup of prisoners, many of them seriously wounded. Among the captured, a large group of women, traditionally used by the enemy as ammunition bearers, village infiltrators, and informers. At least 18 VC soldiers were killed in this joint allied sweep. Battle-weary feet, a soldier's nemesis. The brief pause allows communication with the ever-present field choppers, which pick up both allied wounded and the captured enemy. North Vietnamese and Viet Cong troops rolled into the city to the cheers of some Saigonese, but not to all. One South Vietnamese army colonel committed suicide with his pistol in a downtown square. The Viet Cong headquarters was set up in the former presidential palace. And the former president, Zong Van Minh, is in custody. The American embassy was sacked, burned, and looted. A North Vietnamese tank broke the gate at the president's palace in Saigon. A communist soldier ran the revolution's flag across the empty lawn. The shooting on this day the communists won was not in a battle, but a celebration. Saigon had already surrendered. The people here were herded into groups. All they could take was hand luggage. 
50 at a time, they took off for the carriers waiting in the South China Sea. We are profoundly grateful to our Commander-in-Chief and to our nation for this day.